Hello you guys and welcome back to Brittany Allen Crafts. I have three Dollar Tree Christmas DIYs for you. I know it's a bit late but hopefully y'all will still enjoy it and it'll be worth the wait. Let's just go ahead and get started. So we're going to go ahead and paint that beware sign from Dollar Tree that we got at Halloween uh, with some truffle by Waverly. And then I'm going to go in with some ivory by Waverly and a dry brush, pretty heavy ivory paint. So now I have these stencils. I actually picked these up from Walmart a while back. I think they're four and a half inches and I'll try to link those, but we're just gonna spell out the word Noel. There's probably a few different things that you could fit onto the sign, but I wanted to leave room for embellishments. All right, so now I'm just gonna paint in Noel using the color Barn Red by Apple Barrel. And I actually am obsessed with this color. It's kind of a really dark, dirty looking red and it really just looked perfect for this DIY and it matched with the ribbon that I'm going to use at the end perfectly. So while we have a second, I just wanted to go ahead and tell you guys, if you haven't already, go ahead and hit that subscribe button, turn on that bell and give this video a thumbs up. It will help this channel to grow and I do appreciate it so much. I am sorry once again for disappearing on you guys but just been trying to enjoy my house and my fiance for a little bit and it's December so I feel like I just kind of needed this break but let's go ahead and move on. So I got this stencil off of this app that I found and I will link that app down in the description as well as link the stencils that I use that way you can just either download the app and use the stencil stencil or hopefully you won't have to download the app and you'll just be able to use the stencil. I had this little setup of berries, cotton, and pine cones from another DIY from last year and I just popped that off and popped that on to this new DIY and added some new berries. This is that ribbon that I was telling you guys about. I picked this up from Walmart for a few bucks and I think it is gorgeous and it went so well with this DIY. It has the pine cones, the berries, and it just, it looked really, really So I just wrapped it around the top and then I made a bow just making two loops and using some string to tie it in the middle. And then I went back in with a little extra ribbon and wrapped that around the middle of the ribbon to clean it up and make it look pretty. And then I just glued that right on to the top of this DIY. So this is how the first DIY turned out. I think it is so pretty. This would look great on your porch, but I decided to place it next to my Christmas tree and I just think it looked so cute sitting there next to the tree. Let's go ahead and move on to DIY number two. This is a very simple DIY. I'm using the conservatory card stock bundle from I think it was $10. I'll try to link that for you guys as well. But I went to the very back and I chose the green and black on one side and it has polka dots on the other side. And then I chose the marble with the gold trim and I, for, I think it's um, like a greenish color. But I printed two options for trees off of that app I was telling you guys about. And I'll try to link the stencil for you guys. Used one 
of the designs for I just the marble and green cardstock and then I used the other option for the tree for the green and black and polka dot cardstock. Whew. All right, so I just traced those and then I cut those out. So I'm just using a hole punch from the Dollar Tree and at first I was too scared to do more than one because this cardstock is pretty thick but it would cut through three pieces at a time. I don't think it would cut through more than that but I just punched a hole in the top and the bottom of each of the trees. And now I'm just going to run some jute from the bottom around the back and through the top again of the first tree and then I used my mat for or to help me with measurements and to get them spaced evenly and I'm going to place some arrows up on the screen for you guys so wherever the first tree ended I did about half of an inch or wherever the next line was which ended up being about half of an inch And I did use a little bit of hot glue to secure them so they would not move down the jute and they would stay evenly spaced. I then tied a knot at the bottom and I made a loop at the top to hang it. And this is how it turned out. I did place the trees on in no order. I wanted it to be sporadic, but I think it looks so cute and I cannot believe I've not made one of these vertical garlands before. So let's go ahead and start on DIY number three. You're going to need two of these square or, well, rectangular signs from Dollar Tree. And we're just going to glue them together. Um, these were already painted, so that's why you won't see me doing that. But I'm just going to place on some popsicle, popsicle sticks onto the back. And I may have went a little over. Alright, so I have this really pretty gift bag from the Dollar Tree and it has one of the red trucks on it of course with a snow globe and I'm just going to go ahead and cut that open and cut out that really pretty front picture. So I'm just using some Elmer's glue and I'm not going to mix it with water or anything. I'm just going to put it right on the board and then use a, oh yeah, I forgot I have to cut those holes from the, or where the strings were on the gift bag. But I'm just going to use a paintbrush and paint on that glue. I was afraid that the gift bag would be too thick and too heavy if I watered down the glue. So let me know down in the comments if you know. Um, if it would have worked better with the water at it or not. So yeah, I'm just going to do that in sections and then I'll be back. So I have these strips of buffalo check fabric cut out. Um, and I cut them wide enough so that they would wrap all the way around from where the gift bag ends and all the way to the back of the frame to cover up those edges. And I'm just going to go in with some hot glue and do the bottom of the strip first and then go back on top and add some hot glue to secure it to the top. And I did try it both ways and I think I might have had a little bit better result doing it from the bottom to top, but I don't know. I cut my fabric lopsided so that's why it looks uneven. It's actually not. It just appears that way. <laughs> but... 
I'm just going to go ahead and get all that fabric glued on to make a frame. And this is how our third and final DIY turned out. I really, really like it. I was not happy with how the frame turned out because the fabric was not even. But um, it is what it is, I guess. <laughs> Let me know down in the comments which one of these DIYs was your favorite. And don't forget to subscribe, turn on that bell, share, share, and share with your friends and family. Like, and we have a Facebook group if you would like to join. You can go find that link in the description as well as follow me on Instagram at Brittany Allen Crafts. I did just leave a clip in here of the Noel sign with the Buffalo check sign and our Christmas tree. So I hope you guys had a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year.